Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We got a video today from NG Fire. Woke people making fools of themselves for 11 minutes. Okay. Please take a down below. I really appreciate it. that. Let's that chow. It's chow time. This bill says if you get married while gay or lesbian to another gay or lesbian, you're going to prison for the rest of your life. Do you agree with that? I agree with that in my country. In my country. You think that's a fair punishment? The sir, li life in prison to get married? Sir, I, I think that what we do not understand here is, A, in Africa, sodomy is an abomination. There's a common theory that the people who have the biggest problems with gays and lesbians have themselves struggled with homosexual urges. No, 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 no. Have no, you no, ever? No, no, no. That means everybody who fights terrorism is themselves a terrorist. <laughs> Are you comparing homosexuality to terrorism? It is sexual terrorism. Do you ever worry that you're whipping up hatred in a way that could end up being violent? I don't worry about whipping up hatred. Actually, what I worry is that people like you who seem to hear what I'm saying, but they don't seem to understand. I worry that networks of televisions are controlled by homosexuals. It's offensive to me. Yeah, this is probably one of the funniest videos I've seen <laughs> in a long time. There was no hesitation when he said sexual terrorism. Yeah, now, whether crazy. you agree with him or not, that's not the point. The fact is, he's in another country, that's what they believe in. Leave them alone. Why are they always going to Africa? All these Western reporters going to Africa trying to tell them to change their laws. But have you not noticed, they never go to places like Saudi Arabia, who by the way, <laughs> have the same laws, if not worse. So what's that all about? I wonder why that is. It's true. I actually never even thought of it that way, huh? Hmm. The, the countries with money get to do whatever the hell they want. Oh. gone viral because she has a PhD and she took an IQ test next to some guy that she thought was just a dumb rube hillbilly <laughs> and the dumb rube hillbilly did better on the IQ test than she did. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, me, I don't know. PhD, <laughs> cancer <laughs> biology oh. scientist. Oh, I work in a biotech company. We make co 19 testing kits, oh. stuff like that. And then. You know, it really makes me wonder what are they teaching in these PhD courses? What are they teaching? Uh, for a person to get a PhD to have the lowest IQ is pretty bad. Six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. One of the biggest downsides to university expansion and to credentialism is that it convinces people that they're much smarter than they are. That's the problem with college. Even if you get a PhD, it doesn't actually prove anything about you. It just means you are persistent with your studies. That's it. She hasn't proven herself in the workplace. She has an undeserved ego. And then you've got the other guy here who, who's been in the military, which is a respectable career. And she said she places no value on the military. Well, I yeah that's i was gonna say that you know it's a respectable career it used to be nowadays it's not people view it as like slavery people don't even like believe in our troops or believe in in our own country anymore so it's 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 pretty sad that military people get a pretty bad rap nowadays I guarantee the skills that he's learned from that are way more valuable in the real world than what she has. And his potential was also way bigger than her potential. You see, she basically judged him because he doesn't have the same level of education that she has. But some of the smartest people I've ever met are uneducated. They just didn't get the opportunity to go to college. So yeah, she basically judged him for no reason and proved how low her IQ really was. What brought you out here today? Uh, I just, I wanted to hang out with my friends. I've actually been here twice today. I went home and got changed. So This was like a week long event. Yeah. So have you been here for several no, other events? No, only today. Um, yeah, How is this not um, but I, I came out here to celebrate with friends, uh, be comfortable in my skin too, and just feel comfortable, and so I just, I don't know, it, everything just draws me. This is my, like, a lot, I've been to Pride multiple times, I've been to one over in Ohio and all that, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's really great. Wonderful, it's a great... so you said you went home and got changed, did you get changed into yes, this? Yes. Okay, explain this for me, because I don't think a lot of people will understand. Uh, 
I don't know. It's just, I just like to feel comfortable in my skin. So I just wear whatever I want. Okay. And especially during big events, I like to just dress how I feel. Okay. And so... Um... Uh, this guy's a woman. Feminine, wants attention. That's why he's dressed this way. Weak fucking beta. Um, this was just for fun. Okay. Uh, I love collars, so I wear those. Okay. Um, but everything else is just kind of... Guys, I'm gonna be straight up with you. If you support this or anybody who does support this, you're on the wrong side of history. Because think about it, you wouldn't want anybody you love doing this, would you? I'm sure this person has family. They probably have parents who are looking at this person and thinking, where did we go wrong? I guarantee you they're not supporting this. They're probably desperately trying to get this person help. I'm a lawyer, you need to get the fuck away from my oh, wow. If you're an attorney, why are you selling clothes for five bucks a pop? Because I gotta pay for school somehow, dickhead. So you're not a lawyer, you're in school. <laughs> just gonna attack the camera. Oh, just gonna attack the camera. Hey, don't, attack the camera. Okay, don't do that. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. Me. That's that's assault. Me. That's I know assault. Me no, whoa, whoa. That's it. we have that on camera. Good thing we're not putting. Hey, Nika, she's gonna hey, take hey, the camera. Don't, no, 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 don't touch it. No, 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 no. Nika, film this. Oh, oh, that's assault. Man. That's a real that on video. Heavy. We got that on video, honey. Uh, if it was the other way around, they'd be going to jail. But because it's a woman, nothing. You're going to jail. I'm not gonna sue you. I'm not a pussy. Are you saying the state of Alabama needs more kids? Why does the state of Alabama need more kids? More kids for what? There was a time when the state of Alabama absolutely needed more kids because, you know, Alabama was a slave state. And the mandate of the planter class in Alabama was for black women to produce more kids because those kids were property. And they could work more kids and make more money on their plantations. Are you saying the state of Alabama needs more kids because you think that those populations will include people who are maybe destitute and desperate enough if you kick out the immigrants like a lot of y'all want to do and you could make them do the work that the migrants are doing now? Because that kind of sounds slavery-ish. What? Is the state of Alabama the we? And is, is, is that the why? I mean, you're also a white guy. Are you saying the we is white folks need more kids? Is this like a great replacement thing where you're concerned that there's not enough white people in the population versus the growth of the... It went from one thing to another off of whatever statement the man made about having more kids. That's crazy from it hating on black people to now it, you know, raising white people. It was just more kids. Our country's dying. This is why there's so many migrants and stuff, in my opinion. This is why the country's allowing this. is because our country's dying. We're not having enough kids to take care of infrastructure, to take care of the jobs, to take care of the elderly that are aging right now. There is a problem. Latino population, the black population, the Asian American population. And so the we is white people need to make white women have more kids and that's the we and that's the why because it's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. A little Handmaid's Tale, don't you think? Come on, Joy. Joy Reid never fails to amaze me. I, the mental gymnastics she must go through to make every single statement turn into racism is insane. The guy is saying Alabama needs more kids because the birth rate is quite low and in any functioning economy you need a higher birth rate for obviously when the older people get old you need young people working right it's common sense but no she's basically somehow turned that into race how how does she get there how is her mind so warped to mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you were able to take advantage of simply because the color of your skin what advantage what advantages did it do my color of my skin give me well, there's a certain, there's an ease that you have in society that you, that many people of color don't. You were able to come to this country voluntarily. There are many people who were not able to come to the country voluntarily. There are people Actually, who came I, here as slaves. It's very for me to come here. And Don Lemon, once again, living up to his name. Elon isn't just welcome to the country because he's white. He, he was welcome to the country because he's extremely intelligent and has a lot to offer. And then Don Lemon's basically saying, oh, well, yeah, you only got there because of all the privileges that you have as a white male. First of all, Elon Musk came from South Africa. He's seen way more struggles than Don Lemon ever would in 10 lifetimes. But yeah, that's why Elon Musk realized Don Lemon's actually the racist 
and that's why he fired him. Okay, how many genders are there? Many. It's actually like quantifiable. Well, how about a number? So quantifiable, good. No, it's so many because. Give me a number, that, any number. Okay, well, the way the data breaks down, this is why you don't understand it. Number. There's so many. The way that the. So many. Not so many. Chromosomes not number. actually break down with intersex genders and the way that it actually happens. That is the starting point that you learn in like fifth grade. But when you actually in real like experiments, you learn that the way that data breaks down when it comes to. Can you give me a number genders. or not? Number. A number? You have two. That's sixth grade science. When you move on, there are hundreds so, of different categories. So what you, categories so what you learn in sixth grade becomes less true as you get older? That's like gravity that, that becomes that less true? That is a basic building Newton's block third law becomes less true? In order to understand the concept of gender, when you break it down into actual gender experiments and sex when it comes to chromosomes related. and sex, it breaks down into hundreds of different categories that actually differentiate between just two genders. What you're saying is there are facts and you don't believe in there being a Yes, I am saying that there are this facts. This is a scientific fact that you, if you talk to any biologist, you will learn. So in biology, they teach you, you that there's XX and XY chromosomes. So give me a number of how many genders there are. That Hundreds, are. many. It unlimited, down. right? It breaks so down it's so anything many you want categories. to be, anything you feel. No, it's what scientists determine given specific X, categories. X, X, Y. Why do you need a number if you're Bingo. Already Why do you need a number? That's a great question. You literally have no idea how it works. You're because then you could self-identify to be anything you want at any time. Literally, biologists are saying that this oh, is the way so, the gender actually breaks so, so, down. So you're, you would accept the argument that you can self-identify to be anything at any time. Yes, because literally, okay. biologists. That, that's what's wrong with not having a number. There are hundreds of different numbers. So hundreds why not? of different ways of gender and So, sex like I said earlier, I could be a bobcat, I could be a fox, I could be a snake. Literally not even the case. I could be anything. No, you are literally such <laughs> And uh, do you know that real men are not liberals? Real men are I've, I've heard I've, I've heard you say that before. Yeah. Um, there's a documentary I would love for you to watch about uh, male masculinity. I think it would uh, open up your viewpoint a little bit more. In what way? Uh, I think you would better understand yourself and you'd probably stop espousing the stuff you say about weak men. Beta! <laughs> Are you a beta or conservative? I, I think that's just kind of ridiculous to even... But if you are bleeding liberal, you have to be That doesn't beta. make you weak. That you can hear it in his weak, quivering, liberal voice. Hilarious. Beta man says you need indoctrination from a beta movie to be more inclusive. <laughs> So, yeah, let me get this straight. A documentary about masculinity. Ah, <laughs> oh, this generation's finished. Anyway, that's enough of that shit today. 75 years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years. 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now. Right now, this very second. And I'm not saying drop everything and let the world come to a grinding halt. I'm saying that you can become a seeker. You can be loving more. You can be taking some chances. You can be living more. You can be spending more time with your family. You can be getting in touch with the part of you that lives instead of fears. The part of you that loves instead of hates. Shoutouts to NG Fire. I feel like that one statement the ignorant is bliss thing is such a true statement. So many people now know about all the things that are happening in the world and all these things. And that's all they're worried about. But their lives themselves that they have full control over are all mess. <laughs> Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you.